no time for looking back, looking back. Um, yeah, I mean, art has been extremely important. It's something that I, um, you know, I was passionate about as, um, as a child. Um, you know, I had a dream as a young kid to be a painter. I believed in myself. I followed my dream and, um, you know, I've been chasing the dream since the age of 13. So it's been a really big part of my life and, um, a, you know, a big part of my purpose. Um, so yeah, massive, um, a massive part of who I am and, um, and how I think. So um, extremely influential. There's been many artists that have been um, of you know, huge inspiration to me, but probably the biggest has been um, Picasso. And Picasso's work is, um, you know, as a kid, I was mind blown when I saw Picasso's work. And at the age of seven, I remember seeing his work for the very first time and um, seeing a book with the images of his works. And, and ultimately, I was just thrown out by the color. And, um, and it really, really inspired me to um, to want to be a colorist. And, um, and some of the forms and some of the images that he was working with um, really inspired me as a young boy you know I copied a lot of them and traced you know traced them and copied them and drew from them and and you know built up enough courage then to kind of develop my own work um, and my own confidence yeah so Picasso massive influence a lot of the pop painters as well um, you know people like Warhol um, you know um, Johns um, Liechtenstein and a, a lot of artists that use color have always inspired me Matisse has inspired me. Um, so any of the colorists and pop artists have all been very much um, inspirational to me. Yeah, I'm very fortunate. Um, I show in many galleries um, across Australia, but also across the world. So um, I'm um, probably a fortunate one, a fortunate artist that I'm able to, you know, um, spend quite a lot of time painting for shows. And, um, and then traveling with my shows to different openings and um, you know, attending events and, um, and, and, and you know, being able to um, thankfully sell work and, um, and just keeping the whole thing alive and just keeping the dream alive, you know? Um, my, my probably, my, my, most, well, my most important international exhibition was in New York. And um, that was for me a huge, experience mainly because I, I'm you know smack bang in Chelsea I'm you know I'm showing in a gallery across the road from you know Larry Gagosian gallery um, you know you, you're, you're smack bang in the heart of the art world and the art community um, critics art buyers um, art goers uh, you know interested people oh, all there and for me that was such you know a big buzz you know knowing very well that my show opened the same week that um, Jean-Michel Basquiat's show opened at, um, you know, Larry Gagosian Gallery, knowing that, you know, um, you know, Jeff Koons is walking down the street as, you know, I'm walking to my gallery. Um, that's all very exciting, you know. And um, for me, it was a real, you know, I was like a little kid in a candy store. My eyes were, you know, really open, and I was very, very excited to be there. Yeah, but huge impact on my life. Yeah, my process is, um, um, I, I'm a pop painter. And being a pop painter, a lot of what I do relates to pop culture. And so a lot of my time is spent absorbing pop culture. And, and often my work comments on pop culture. I almost see myself a little bit almost like a TV, that I'm um, you know, regurgitating pop culture and um, presenting it to the audience. Um, you, you'll notice that there's words in my work and there's images, so being you know, being read, the visual and the verbal co combined together, and, um, and, and that's important. Sometimes they have subliminal messages, sometimes there's subtext in my work, and that's all important. And that's all part of being a pop artist, you know. You comment on a day-to-day -day basis on um, pop culture. And so that's my process. My process is drawing from magazines, drawing from TV, drawing from real life. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of never alone when I'm submerged, submerged in pop culture, like 
I walk through a shopping center and I feel part of something bigger and it gives me a lot of inspiration to draw from and actually bring into my work. Magazines, I feel at home in magazines. I feel part of a bigger world um, when I'm looking at pop culture and ultimately that is, um, is brought into my canvases. Yeah, colour's massive, you know, um, and because I'm a colourist, every colour has been thought out and every placement of colour is there for a particular reason. It's for an emotional impact, you know. Colour is, um, is extremely important in the way I work because colour makes people feel happy and, um, and people, when they look at art, should feel happy and they should feel at ease with a picture. And, and that's my instrument to my audience. My instrument into my audience's mind or into my audience's appreciation is through my color. I want people to actually feel comfortable in looking at the colors and, um, you know, and, and that's why um, my colors are bright and my works are, are, are very, very colorful. Yeah, my audience take away pop culture. Um, they take a comment, a commentary on pop culture and I, I don't think I'm that any different to a television or a radio, um, you know, or any other form of pop culture, you know, be a magazine. I just feel that my work, my works are, um, you know, they're, 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 they're viewed visually, they're read verbally, um, you know, and I just want people to kind of feel that they belong to a, um, a bigger power, and that power is, um, is, is, is pop culture. Yeah, what drives me is my next canvas, you know? So um, I'm always driven by my next work. So I think that's important. I, I love the idea of producing. I love the idea of constantly feeling at one with the canvas, you know? And one with my work and my subject matter. That drives me. The whole process of painting drives me because it's a battle, it's a battle, you know? You, you know, you're alone in your own studio with a canvas and there's a blank canvas and you've got to produce and, um, you, you know, there's a lot of battling against the actual work. What to put in, what to put out, what to tighten, what not to tighten, what to move, what not to move, what to make permanent, what not to make permanent, what colour, where, what emotional impact. That drives me. That's, that's, that's adrenaline. That's 100% total adrenaline. <laughs> I think it's, it's all interesting because we're in a period of um, 21st century um, and we're, this is a 21st, I'm a 21st century painter and in saying that I'm a postmodern painter and being a postmodern painter is about um, taking from the past and pushing forward, readapting, appropriating um, and I think that's what makes this period we're in so exciting because it's challenging not only to me as the artist but it's also very challenging to the audience that views my work as well so the direction of neo pop or um you know ne neo expressionist pop is um you know is, is, is it's an exciting one it's a challenging one because it's always trying to take from the old looking at stuff that took place in the 20th century and some of the great innovative um ideas in pop art, in expressionism, in neo-expressionism, and trying to drag them into a more current, more contemporary context. And that's exciting because it's ever evolving and ever changing. Yeah, I mean, like, I have this discussion all the time with, with, all the time with people. Art is this thing that will constantly change, but essentially it's always the same. So people have always painted the same things and people have always been interested by the same things. It's just that we're looking at different ways of presenting those things. Same old in a different way. And that's where art's going. So we look for more innovative ways of presenting things that people have presented. And we're always trying to push that envelope a little bit further. We're always trying to push painting to the next degree. And that, that's not me but that's all contemporary painters, and all contemporary painters actually take from the old and actually bring in um, into the new with um, new innovative, innovative sort of ideas. And that's where I see where painting's going and art's going. A continuation of that. Yeah.